Good evening, folks, and a hearty welcome to our drive-in theater. A drive-in movie theater is back in Carbon County, despite talk it would have to fold after being unable to purchase a digital projector. The manager here says if they are still unable to purchase a digital projector for next season, one option would be to run this as a classic drive-in, playing older movies still available on 35mm film. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Mahoning Drive-In Theater, one of the largest and oldest drive-ins with one of the largest screens left in the United States. We haven't taken paychecks yet because we want to put everything back into the drive-in. Everybody wants to make money. Nobody wants to do it for free. But the idea is to save the drive-in and to keep it going. So all three of us, we worked for free last year, basically. I'm coming down 443 and I see the marquee, the big red arrow. And I thought, you know, the first impression was, oh, abandoned driving. I should go check that out. It's cool to be a part of this because it's like you're a part of movies in kind of like a different way. You really feel like you're part of this bigger thing. We're here purely out of love of film, purely out of love of this history that the drive-in has. And yeah, there's no other way to say it besides it's, it's a passion project to the extreme. And when you think about the power of nostalgia, there's this ache, as Don Draper in Mad Men described it, an ache to go there again. And so someone who has not, for example, had the original drive-in theater experience might truly ache to have wished they could have. We hope you have a wonderful time. Come back soon. And now, on with the show.